Hello. So, hi. Yes. So, okay. I'm Katrina and uh, I'm doing my masters here in Riga. And I will I will play uh, Sonatina from Alexander Tansman. Okay. Let's start with the first movement and then let's see how how far we can get. <laughs> yes, I also I also saw that you uh, you also wrote uh, Homer Concerto. So yes. what do you want me to do? Do you want to go to the Tanzman first completely or? Actually, I wrote them too because I was I am preparing many like more pieces right now. But uh, today I decided that I would like to stay on the Tanzman. Okay. I think it's more 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 cooler to to work on that on the master classes. It's going to be okay. interesting. Then I grab Tanzman. <laughs> But then maybe can can we play uh, first and second movement? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah? Mm -hmm. great.
very nice. Um, be before we before we start with the music, um, <coughs> sorry, Corona. Um, when you uh, when you breathe in, I hear a lot of of noise, as if you're trying to suck the air in. Um, but actually, if if your lungs are empty, the air automatically wants to go in. That is just you know if you have if your lungs are empty, you have low pressure inside, high pressure outside, so the the air wants to go in. So actually, it should be enough by just opening your mouth be, uh, wide enough, and then you 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 the air should automatically go in. When you when I hear so much. Uh, sound for me it's a sign that that I think you don't open your mouth enough so you have too much resistance here and then you really have to <laughs> suck it in so try to have the when you're breathing to to have the mouth a little bit more open it's a, you know it's 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 a, about two fingers this, this then you have the same opening here as here and, and you will not have no resistance yeah, so this is something to keep in mind for, 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 for breathing in, that, that it will take you less effort and less time to have your lungs completely filled up. Yes? Yeah. But okay. we will, maybe we'll, we will we'll come back to that later in the lesson. But uh, let's for now start with the Allegro con Moto. Um, it's very good, you, pl you play it very good. But I need more character. You know the piano is doing chuck 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 chuck. All the rest is you, which yeah. is, is a lot. All these all these little hats. I think I, I would want I would want them more. The articulation, the 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 fire. If necessary, um, mm -hmm. and the first, the first go with a lot of conviction. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Maybe it will come. Maybe it will not. But yeah. that should not prevent you of not trying it to have it with. Bam. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's try once more from the beginning. Which is fine. Naturally. Which is which is fine. But then afterwards, you meet, you need to make a big crescendo mm -hmm. to bar uh, to the to the A flat. Yeah. And watch out with your A flat. That is not too sharp. Yeah. Uh, which one? Which one? The A flat. The lab. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, and then afterwards, when you have the 16 notes, which are staccato, can you give me more articulation? Also afterwards. Yeah? 
Yeah, this is very good. And, and then in, I think in the third bar of figure one, you go a little bit back in dynamics. Yeah, which yeah, is very I know nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Dolce, yes, but keep the articulation. What, about, what I hear now is. And that's not what he writes. Five times, mi mi la re, mi mi la re, mi mi la re, and the last one. Try to have it even more. Mi mi mi. You know, like like when you sing three times something to a child, and four times, and the fifth time you lose it, and you say, "God damn it!" Yeah, <laughs> that the last time yeah. you uh, even even more. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, very good. Um, one more time, the beginning. You know what I hear. This this is a little. I think you can you can maybe prevent that by trying to show it with the bassoon instead of with the with the breathing. Voila. Sometimes it doesn't. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll try. After the A, is that correct? In the fifth bar. You are breathing now. One, two, three, four, five. No, six. Sorry, six. Six, six. six. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will give you better place. Okay. Um, if you can breathe in the fourth bar before the C sol la. Yeah. Until, until, otherwise, I, I'm afraid you're gonna always be a little bit too late on the low A. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Okay, okay, we'll try. Yes, we don't have to repeat that now. Um, but it's difficult. Whoa, somebody is singing there. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. all around. <laughs> Music is all around us. Um, let's let's, let's uh, play where you start with the Dolce. What is it? So, yeah. Third bar of one? Yes. With the upbeat.
before we get to the Minamoso, there is there is one thing. There is two times a, a, a run with staccato notes, no? Can we look once at the second one? I want you to play it once legato. Because uh -huh. I, I, I feel a little bit that, that you're you're trying to control it too much here. With the with the with the tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These kind of runs they should be controlled also by the air. The air should should give the speed to the tongue and should give the movement to the tongue. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna play it two times legato and then two times as it's written. <laughs> Exaggerating, huh? but can can you do one's favorite? Take the read of the bassoon. You play a do. Yes, and now you play the, the scale. Yes, and now with 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 yes yes, and now with the read on the bassoon. Yeah, yeah. You see how easy staccato. You see how it's so easy. Playing staccato is so easy. No, it's not. But actually, the the the, the principle behind it is very easy. The air moves the tongue. But if the air is not running correctly. You cannot, you, you have to move the tongue every time, you know, you have to concentrate on this movement. If the air is doing the work, it's like, like you have, um, yeah, little, 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 um, little, I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching outside and I'm seeing the, the, the leaves of, of the trees, you know, and they're just being moved by the, by the air. And the tongue should be also be moved by the air. Yeah. The air is crucial for a job as a wind instrument player. Yeah. <coughs> so, this in mind, we don't have to uh, uh, repeat that. I would want to go to the minimum also. Mm -hmm. um, he writes a galantando, and then minimum also. Cantabile. I, 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 I hear the minomoso, I don't feel the cantabile so much. Yeah, that's it, you really... I would also, I, I, I always play it slower than 104 because I, I'm not able to play cantabile in 104. I, I, I never managed to, to play this, this part in 104 because I need more time in a way. So if you want to play slower, I would say, play slower. It's fine. If you if you know, if you need more time to play certain intervals, take more time. I've tried to, to get closer to the 104. I didn't manage. Uh, um, so, so experiment. 
a little bit by by maybe taking a little bit more time that you get more into the character of really the cantabile the, the the singing and also the, the going into it the garantando very or organic <laughs> shorten a little bit the, the E so you are in time for the D. Yeah? <laughs> Can we try this one from poof? playing before I also I play too I play too loud. It, it's the, the character um, you come from bum 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 yeah much more smooth. Another question how do you play your F sharp in bar number six five oh. I do the, the muted one. Yeah and the question is, do you, yeah, the question is, do you need that? Uh, yeah, that's always a question, actually. <laughs> because <laughs> sometimes, it's, sometimes it's just a little bit too sharp, but sometimes it's when I don't use the muted. And then when I use it, then it's sometimes too muted. You can really hear this muted. So I'm still, yeah, I'm still not sure, really. I wouldn't if I were you, because the difference in color is very big, yeah? Yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, it's, I, I'm listening and, and, and every time I'm a little bit surprised. Actually, I know already that you're playing the muted version, and then I, but still I'm like... Ooh. So if I were you, I would just play the normal finger and play it flat. Yeah, yeah. Like always with an F sharp. Mm -hmm. Just play yeah, it flat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think then it's more organic. It's otherwise yes, muted. Just yes. really sounds muted. It's yeah, I agree. You have okay. to, you have to, you have to keep your your muted fingerings for for in the orchestra for when for the moments you really need them. Because if you're gonna incorporate them in your solo pieces, it's gonna that's gonna be your new standard. And then you come to the orchestra, and then a conductor asks you to play really soft, and you have no options anymore. So be careful that that you that with using muted fingerings in your solo repertoire. Of course, sometimes you know if you want to. But here we are in mezzo piano even more because we have had crescendos. Mm -hmm. I I don't see a reason why you should not just play the normal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Except for intonation, but the intonation you can correct there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I would want you to play once more and a little bit more smooth. Yeah, that even when there is a crescendo that it's it 
it's going open, but it's 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 staying very. I don't know, silk, silky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Directly, figure two. And this one I would really that you this one you really push mm -hmm. through it, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do directly that tempo, no? Or maybe one bar before for the Yeah, I can pop. I can do maybe three three before a tempo so I try this uh, Excellent. This break. Which connection of notes? Because it's not the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, I would say uh, the one, the last bar, the one bar before three. I would say it's somewhere between um, second, second part, second beat uh, with the E F flat F sharp D sharp. Could be somewhere there. I think. This one, no. Yeah, the F sharp, B sharp, E, because I want to go to the D flat. Uh, yeah, then take that out. Take that out. Take this, these four notes out and concentrate on that. And then mm -hmm. put them back in. Because what, what you have to... Let, let's, let's go through it once. Let's, let's go beat by beat. Is it a problem? No. See 
what happens quite quickly. Taka taka dum. Taka taka dum. Taka taka dum. From uh, the second bar before three. No, from the yeah, the second bar before three. Yes. Mm -hmm. But try to. Sorry, try to yeah. to have always five notes. So you do. Ah. Oh, okay. It's not super clean. From the from the E to the C sharp, it's not very nice. Yes. What what's that? Where where is the problem? What do you hear? It's not very nice. I think the C and C sharp are connection. But already before. It's the yeah. E flat C. Yeah. You 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 throw your fingers on the instrument for the door. Try to, to, to not throw them on but to grab the the door. Mm -hmm. So so not do too fast. Not not just rough. Yeah. Very control the door. D sharp. So I would say um, E, C sharp, E flat, C, F sharp, D sharp. This is a little bit what what I mean. The, the also, I'm talking also about the, the bar before. Yeah? So mm -hmm. E, C sharp, E flat, C, F sharp, D sharp. This is where I feel the first things we have to fix, and then you 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 continue. You know, you take two beats. <laughs> And then you, you feel, okay, is it, is it going? Mm -hmm. What happens if I repeat it twice? Is it, is it still consistent? And you try to, f to, to, to localize the problems because it doesn't, you know, I've, I've, I've practiced these kind of things repeating thousands of times with rhythms, offbeat, onbeat, with different articulations and I've practiced this so wrong in a way you can always just repeating repeat. if i if i have to look at it now i i'm i'm gonna check okay where is the problem because this it's not uh let me count uh ooh, my counting 30 second notes um uh, which is the problem you know it's, it's just a couple of of connections which are the problem and these ones you have to fix repeating 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 is very important also but not before, uh, not until you have fixed the little problems. Otherwise, you're gonna repeat and, and, and mm -hmm. have these little problems in your fingers. So yeah. try to really localize. Okay, where do you have to pay attention to? Fix that, clean that. All these kind of things, yes. And then you put them back in and you see, is it better? No? Okay, you put it back out. If it's better, yes, then you can continue. You take two beats together. Or even first beat, then two and three together, four and one together, and so on. Yeah. But don't don't just repeat, repeat, repeat. Even if it's with 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 uh, differentiation in rhythms and, and tempi, and really localize the problem. Where is where is it? Where is the glitch in this, in the system? And then try to really, oh, this finger is moving too slowly or too quickly or too big or too. 
Yeah. So this is this is there is thousands of way of of practicing this. But I think that before you really start with the repeating, repetition, repetition, try to find difficult parts of a passage and clean them out. Really. Like you're like you're polishing a, a reed, you know, with with a sandpaper, really. and then you put it in, and then we get to the repetition part. Yeah. Yeah. True. Very true. Enough talking. We continue <laughs> at figure three. Yeah. what's written at the beginning of the second movement in the bassoon part yeah it's uh, it's a but i know that some play it and some don't he, he writes it there's yeah in this actually in mine uh, i know i know also yeah, in mine there's there not, not yeah but in, in case of in case of doubt always go to the piano part because that's the original he, he wrote he doesn't write the bassoon part and again he writes everything together so yeah. In case of doubt, this is the closest to what to what he wrote down. And he even writes enchaîné, which means connect in French. So I would mm -hmm. really... I know, it doesn't make it easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but... Yeah. I don't okay. really care. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think I know there is... There is I think we should play it. I think he, he is quite clear about the enchaîné to the two, and in the in the piano part it's very clearly written. Mm -hmm. so I, I would do that. Um, before we get there, um, a little thing, in, 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 we don't have to repeat that, but in three, I hear... Ta -da -ya, ti -da -da. I hear you going to the F sharp, in a way. Probably because the F sharp is quite an open note on the bassoon. So make sure that the head is on the A flat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, we don't have to repeat that. Um, then the più lento. Let's try once to play completely legato. I just want you to let the air flow. Yeah, so we, we play the whole piolento tutto legato
okay, 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 okay. So, what do we notice? In the beginning, mud, all the notes are coming. Which means that in the beginning, your tongue is disturbing the flow of the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you're cutting too much the, the flow of the air with the tongue. Try to imagine one big flow of air and the tongue is just sometimes hitting in between but the, 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 the air keeps going. This is one thing. The other thing is when we have the slur down, the notes tend not to come. You have to relax more. You have to relax more your embouchure and go more back when you have the... not as much movement as what I'm showing you <laughs> but but but, the, but the, and, and try to be at as most at the tip of your read as possible for the, these kind of things the more you're at the tip of your read the more you will let the natural vibration of the read does it work do it work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah so we're gonna try once more we're gonna start by doing the first one and a half bar one time legato, one time as written. And I don't want your tongue to disturb the flow of the air. Yeah, okay. Go, go, more, to, go more to the front, the tip of the reed. Mm -hmm. Almost, almost, you know. That I, that I talked briefly about it, the, the preparation, the reading, putting the support, putting the tongue on the reed, releasing your air, so the air is behind your tongue, and then you release your tongue, so you have that the, the, the movement of the tongue controls how the note comes out and when. But the air is ready. The air is ready behind the, the tongue. Right? Yeah? Can you try it? Only the do. Do. Quicker the tone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know when the thing is when I hear, when I hear, uh, uh, it means that you're not your 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 air is not behind your your tongue because you move the tongue and then you do. Yeah, I know. You want to play soft, so you want to play with as little air as possible. Which is wrong. You should play with a lot of air. A lot of... Yeah? Yeah, that, that... It's really, it's, the air is waiting there. It's waiting, it wants to produce some beautiful sound. And you say, okay, now you're allowed to. Yeah, try once more. Play a little bit, a little bit louder. It's not only about playing piano. It's about. A little bit quicker the tone. Good. 
food. Yes. Very good. Yes, and you know what? This, as, as stupid as it may sound, but this is gonna be your job as a bassoon player in the orchestra. Mm -hmm. You, yeah, I know it sounds stupid, but these kind of things, you know, even even worse if you're a country bassoon player like me, this is really your job. You have nothing else to do anymore. It's just, dude. No, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, denigrating my own job, but um, this is, it's, it's really, I, I just want you to tell you, it, it is very important and we spend way too little time with this when we are students. We, we spend a lot of time with, with a lot of, which is also very important. I don't want to, to make one or the other more or less important, but these kind of things, the, 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 I, the, the, the knowledge of And, and, and how you move your tongue, this is now my tongue, you know? how you move your tongue, how the sound will come out. If you do this, do, or you do, no, but the air behind it is the same. <sighs> how you move your tongue in the end will define how it will come out. And this is something you need to incorporate in your, in your, in your, in your daily, uh, I mean, I'm, talk I'm saying you, but I'm saying, I, I mean in general, you, as being students, being also myself, um, everybody who is learning, who is, who is practicing, you should incorporate it in your practice because it's crucial for an orchestral musician. Yeah, especially with, with, with this nice uh, double wing switch mm -hmm. vibrates diff difficultly. Yeah? So, yeah, yeah. we're gonna play the Pio Lento. Let's, let's say mezzo piano. I don't want you to, to be fighting. I want you to have, to enjoy. I, I also said to Edgar before, enjoy playing piano. It's something gorgeous. Playing piano is something, ah, oh, you should enjoy it. directly below D mezzo piano mezzo piano yeah. play play play
sorry, sorry. Um, uh, um, very nice. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was was missing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it's very nice. I think you can make m um, more the difference between the tranquilo and then the espressivo. Yeah, much if you can, much more vibrato there mm -hmm. in, in the espressivo. Really, really, really. Wow. Open it up. Um, and in the tranquilo, it lacks a little bit of. Um, in the beginning, I mean, it lacks a little bit the the phrasing. It's a little bit too too hard, uh, too yeah too flat line in a way. If you can, if you can. Before the, the the scale up to the forty or not? Yes, yes. Do it more. Yeah, I think you can make it more exaggerated. It's very nice. You play it very nice. Give it a little bit more shape, I think. A little bit more yeah. phrasing, um, and the difference in in character between the beginning and then the espressivo, and then back to the tranquilo. And there is one thing very important. I think yeah. in the third bar of figure four, mm -hmm. second and third, I sh I would not dephrase. I would give it to the piano. Yeah, because you're dephrasing there, and I'm, I'm not convinced of that. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah? Um, so, I, unfortunately, we have, to, uh, we have to wrap it up here. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much. Really nice. Keep going, keep going. Think of this, this. This, 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 this natural, the air, you know, the air wants to go into your lungs. If your lungs are empty, the air wants to go in. Use this, this, this automatism of, of, of nature that the air wants to go in. We don't have to. Yeah, it, it will go in. And try to, to do this kind of exercises where you, where you breathe in, you put your support, you put the tongue on the reed, you, you release the air while the tongue is on the reed. And you feel really the air pushing here behind. And then you release the tone. Not only in piano, also mezzo forte. Forte. Piano, pianissimo. With different kind of releasing of the tone. Where you have the T or the D or even the L, if you want to. That you, that you get a very, uh, 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 an amazing control over how you start the note. Because that's for double reed instruments, that's what you are a lot judged on. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, when you're sitting in rocks and, and I mean, I'm sitting behind flutes. Normally, as a bassoon player, you're sitting behind oboes. So that's, you know, it's, it's not so bad because they have the same problem. But if you're sitting behind flutes, with flute, and, and you, you come with your toot, and then they look around and <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but you know, yeah. my reed. So this is this is things you want to be able to to 
prevent as much as possible, let's say. You cannot get it completely. It's, it's something which is there. It's there and we have to deal with it. But try to get a little bit more control over this. It's not only about playing soft. It's, 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 it's the, the knowledge of do. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Try to, to, to do some simple exercises. What, what we did before, you know, with, with the C or every note in every dynamics. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really, it's, it's, it's a very important part of our job as orchestral the students. And um, it's something which also me as a teacher, I always, I mean, not always, but I don't put enough attention to it anymore. I should, I should also, me as a teacher, I should be more pushing on that to my students and, and also to myself, because I also never learned that in a way. So you, at some point you realize, oh yeah, actually this is quite important. I have to maybe put some time into this. Yeah. So do it now, you're still young. You can still learn it and you, you will be great. Okay. Yes? So thank you so much for playing. Yes, thank you so, so much. And uh, we see each other in the future. Thank you also Hopefully. to the piano Hopefully. player. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. I will, I will, yes, put everything behind my ear. Thank yes, you. Yes, good. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to, uh, to contact me. Yes, Great. if there okay. is still uh, concerns, questions. Okay, okay? it's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Have a good day. Yes, you too.